What's up guys, it's Matt here, and I'm back with another credit card review. This time, I'm going over the Capital One Quicksilver card, and I'll get into all the details in just a second. Before I start, hit the like button, that helps me out so much. Also, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, because I'm doing a giveaway, and I'll get into all the giveaway details at the end. So the Capital One Quicksilver card, if you're familiar with my channel, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've had this card for a long time and that I love this card. It's always been in my wallet. Just recently, it has come out of my wallet and I'm really, really sad to see it go. But um, other cards come with other offers that are pretty much my go-to offer, so I can use those cards in its place. But this is still a good card if you're looking for a great card. Um, so this is why I'm going over this review. So let's jump into the details of the card. First, we're gonna look at the appearance. Um, I really like the orange trim that it has um, around the border. Um, I don't know why, it just sticks out. Um, it really pops. Also, the silver grayish look to it um, with like that, like the continuous swirls around it kind of looks like a, a record in the middle of it, but it just, I don't know what it is about it. It just looks really, really good. I like silver, I like gray. If you've seen my um, Amazon review, um, I like that card because of the fact that you know it's gray, it's silver. Um, I just like that color for some reason. It just pops for me. Um, but it is a really good card. It's a plastic card. It's not metal for the people who really want a metal card out there, but um, it's a really good card. Um, I like it. Um, so my grade that I would give for the appearance uh, probably, let's say a B, um, because I really like the card, but you know, I really like metal cards. Um, and I, I like the gray of it. I like the silver. I, I just, I don't know. It's just not at the highest level it could possibly be. It's not something that I would hand to someone and they would say, wow, or somebody would hand to me and I would go, wow, this is a great card. I would just swipe it and move on with my day, but it is a really good card. It has great appearance to it. So B, that's what I give it. Now let's go into the actual details of the card. Why is this card so good? Why am I reviewing it? Well, um, they actually have a welcome bonus, um, which is something that I really love. I love welcome bonuses with any card. Um, they will give you $150 when you spend $500 in your first three months, which is doable. It's definitely manageable. Um, if you spend a lot of money on um, electric, on gas, you wanna spend on your normal bills, then you're gonna be able to get there within those three months just by putting one bill on it or something because it's only $500 and you get $150. So um, that's definitely a good offer. Next, they offer you unlimited 1.5% cash back. Have you seen the commercials with Samuel L. Jackson? 1.5% um, cash back, it's really good. It's better than 1%, which a lot of other credit cards will do. All other categories is 1%, all other purchases are 1%. Um, and that's just, that's just standard, it's average. And 1.5% is definitely higher than average. So it's a good perk and this is why I used it because any other card that I had that was 1%, um, I would be able to basically get another 0.5% higher um, cash back if I would use this card. It only makes sense if I'm getting more money back. The more you can get back, the better it is. They don't have any rotating categories or signups when it comes to these categories like a Discover um, and you don't really need to expect that. You're getting 1.5% cash back, which like I said, is better than average. So you don't need to expect to get or to sign up for any other category in order to get the 1.5% cash back. They also have zero APR for 15 months. So for people who are trying to make a huge purchase and wanna pay it off over time, over 15 months, you can do it here without paying interest. Also for the people who want to consolidate uh, debt, you have zero APR on balance transfers for 15 months. So um, it's an easy way to consolidate debt as long as you have the credit limit. The last big benefit for this card is that it has no annual fee. That's definitely good whenever you're getting any type of perks. Um, no annual fee is better than an annual fee. Um, if you do have an annual fee, you obviously want to get more back um, or equal back to what you can get with a Quicksilver card or with a uh, no annual fee card. So, so to look at all the perks, I would give that grade probably somewhere around the C plus range. Um, I mean, you do get 1.5% cash back. You also get the bonus, um, but you don't have many other categories. And nowadays you have cards like the Wells Fargo Propel uh, card, which has 3% or three times cash back or three times points as they would call it, but technically it's 
cash back. So if you're comparing this to other cards that have more perks with no annual fee, um, there are other cards that have no annual fee and have better perks, but this is a good card. I'm not going to say that this is a bad card. If you can only qualify for this card, then you can get this card because it's a really good card. So let's run through it real quick. Appearance was a B, uh, perks was a C plus, um, and then we're going to get into all the different fees and, um, pricing and all different other types of things like that. So let's jump into the actual fees and pricing. So if we look at the annual percentage rate, just like I said, um, you have zero APR for 15 months. After that, it's 16% all the way up to 26%. It all depends uh, what your credit worthiness is. So um, that's not the highest I've seen. It's pretty high, but that's not the highest I've seen. Um, APR for cash advances are 26%. So just don't do that. I say it in every video. Don't do cash advances unless you're going to pay it off right away. Um, don't do cash advances. That's it for the interest rates. Let's just get right into the fees. So like I said, there's no annual fee. So you don't have to worry about paying that every single year right from the start. So that's definitely a good thing. Transaction fees, you have 3% balance transfer transaction fees. So if you are looking to consolidate debt, you have to do that calculation um, because 3% could add up very quick, especially if you have thousands of dollars on different credit cards. So do that calculation. Um, also, you have a cash advance fee of $10 or 3%. So if you are going to take cash out, know that no matter what, you're going to pay something, um, even if you do pay it off right away. Um, you also have a late penalty fee of $38. And that's pretty much it for the fees and stuff. So I mean, if I was looking at this card as a whole, would I get this card? Obviously, I would because I have it. Um, it's a good card. And if you're looking for a card out there that has no annual fee that gives you perks better than average perks, um, also as a sign up bonus, this would be the card to go for. So um, if you're really looking to get a card, I'm not gonna uh, talk about this card like it is a bad card. Um, but there are other offers out there with if you have a higher credit score um, or if you're in certain areas, depending on your debt to income ratio. So, um, but this is a good card. If you qualify for this card, if you get an offer for this card, it's not a bad card and you don't want to turn down free money and that sign up bonus is free money. So hopefully you like this video. If you do hit the like button, that helps me out so much. Also comment down below and let me know if you have this card, if you use this card, um, what card you would use in its place. Um, just shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what's on your mind. Also hit that subscribe button because I'm doing a giveaway of five Amazon gift cards when I hit my 5,000 subscriber mark. So if you want to enter that giveaway, just hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.